the roller coaster of emotions that I'm going through right now is crazy. Dang, she got a big back. That has been my biggest struggle. Should have ironed my shirt. That's crazy. It's like a t-shirt. Why do these look huge? Am I that big? Oh my gosh. I'm starting to get a little overwhelmed. I also didn't put on makeup today, so. You know? We'll see how this goes. Hello, welcome back to Time with Tally, or welcome to Time with Tally if you've never been on my channel before. God bless you all. I'm so happy to have you here. So today we are going to do something a little special that I feel like it's been put on my heart because one, I like to keep things organized, but also <laughs> I've been feeling convicted about cleaning out my closet because there's been plenty of clothes that I have not touched in a long time and I will never touch again. Without further ado, let's get right into it. For those that haven't been to my room before, this is my room. And if you saw my life update a little while back, yeah, I still haven't put anything up yet. Don't judge me. Don't mind my curtain in the back. I still haven't bought one of those curtain holder thingies. So I just roll them up and put them on the rod. Anyways, I wanna make something also very, very clear. This is something that I feel is what's being called of me, what's feeling right in my heart. For any of y'all that know me or I've been here, the way I used to dress was very much I didn't care, all right? I did not care how much skin I showed because I don't care because it's a body just like another body. If y'all don't know biology, leave me alone. Mind your business. Don't look at me if you don't want to, right? But for a while now, before I had a relationship with God again, I already started to feel this like transition in my life where I wanted to dress a little differently. I was coming into my womanhood and I just felt like maybe the crop tops and the very out there wear, I guess, it just wasn't doing it for me anymore. I was very much falling in love with the elegant clean girl vibe. I'm just gonna make my bed my trash can at this point. I'm starting to get a little overwhelmed, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I won't sit here and say also that I'm like full blown modest. I'm somewhere in the middle, I guess. Dang, she got a big back. That's crazy. Beautiful shirt, but ah, I feel like this is gonna be very healing. If I get emotional, I'm tired of the emotional videos, please. I can't do it again. I'm not an emotional person. Why do these look huge? Am I that big? Oh my gosh. So this shirt right here, fully see-through. <laughs> guess what I wore underneath? You guessed it, nothing. <laughs> Going out clothes? You're gonna catch me probably in it once. Maybe, maybe twice. I don't think I can keep this. Especially not in the way I was wearing it. That's crazy. I don't know. I feel like I've seen girls in the church that they wear like maybe like a tank top or something and then they wear something like this over it to give them a little bit more of a sleeve. I could do that maybe. Oh my gosh, you guys are actually going along with me for this ride because this is just crazy. I might keep this one. The other one I feel like it was solid. It was meant to be a whole shirt. So we're gonna, no, no. The only thing I have an issue with is like really like low V cuts with too much cleavage. I definitely am a believer in sometimes there's just some things you can't like fully like, you're gonna know they're there. Like I can't fully hide the fact that I have breasts or my butt. Right now I'm really in this point where I came from something so strict that it literally was like moo moos all day with leggings underneath. I have not felt conviction from him where it's like, I need to go back to that because what God really focuses on is my relationship with him in my heart. He heals us from the inside to the out. And if maybe in the future he wants to do that with me, then amen, I received that. What is it? Um, I gotta be very transparent right now. This is not easy for me. And although I will do what it takes to please God and to respect myself and the desires he's placed in my heart, my clothes and how I presented myself, it's like I'm grieving my old identity. There's lots of memories that came with these clothes, you know? I will say that one of my worries that I have to give up to God is it's a little easier to be covered up in the winter time. I am a little nervous about how my path will go on how I, you know, dress myself and present myself in the summertime. I do believe that if I keep my eyes on him, I'll be fine. Additionally, it's me that I worry about. I just asked for him to strengthen me and help me keep going. It's a fresh start. Most of my shirts were crop tops and things that I can wear freely, you know? 
without a bra, which I'm not gonna, listen, I'm gonna tell you right now, that's been my biggest struggle. That has been my biggest struggle. I hate bras. <laughs> I hate them so much. <laughs> like actual bras with padding and underwire are the only ones that make them look and not like your obvious, like, you know, breast shaped stuff like that. So y'all know what I mean. The girlies know what I mean. This shirt is so cute. It used to like, it was one of these little moments, right? And then this would be like the sleeves that went with it. Or what if I cut that one? I can make sleeves on something else. Join Tally on her new channel. Tally makes up clothes. Tally sews. Ooh, that rhymes. Look at me rapping, period. So like, if I were to like, this is so embarrassing, right? But like, if I were to wear this, right? Like a, a tank top or a wife beater or whatever, something like that. I don't even know. That would look cute, right? <gasps> Listen, one thing about me, I'm gonna tell you right now, bell sleeves always win. Bell sleeves have been a thing for me ever since I was a child. Probably gonna have them in my wedding dress. I want them all the way down to the ground. Also, bell bottom jeans. I'm looking like a bell tower, that's crazy. They are beautiful. Oh! I have 14 pairs of bell bottoms. I'm a little scared about this, I'm not gonna lie, because these are a little tight on top, but they're just so beautiful. So I'm trying to see, is there like maybe like a loose shirt that I can wear with them? Fashion has never been my strong point, so therefore, when it comes to like making outfits, I put stuff together and if I like the way it looked, fine. I don't know, I don't do a name brand, I don't do fancy stuff, I don't, I'm not educated. Yeah, I might need some tips. I do have joy because I am also very aware that all the space that I'm making now is for him to take place and take space here with me. I remember I've done this once before when I was younger and this time around is so different to the last time. Maybe, maybe I'm behaving wrong because obviously I should not miss any of that stuff and I don't miss that stuff. It's just, that was me. That was me. And it's like, I'm saying goodbye to her. And I don't care what anybody guys say, because yeah, now I'm getting emotional. But that was me at one point. That was the me that pushed me through and helped me survive to get to the point that I'm at now. That was the me that held on. That was the me that got through the trauma. That was the me that held on to the faith that maybe hopefully one day God will actually bring me home. Even though right now, I don't really want to. But maybe one day. <sighs> wow. And it's funny too, because I don't even know honestly why I grieve it sometimes. Cause I'm like, bye, bye. Like not for nothing. I actually haven't touched any of those clothes in over a year. <laughs> what, what am I sad for? The roller coaster of emotions that I'm going through right now is crazy. I ain't sad for nothing. That's a lie from the enemy. I rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. Stop playing with me. No, absolutely not. What am I sad for? What am I sad for? My life is so much better now. And it's going to be even better because he's in it. Like. Oh, nah. No, nope. we ain't doing that here. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you, God, for the opportunity to see this growth and this transformation happen, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, because it is you that is moving me, Lord God. Thank you so much that I get to see the fruits of the prayer of my mother, Lord God, that I get to see your presence in my life, that I get to see all the things that you want to do with me, Lord God, and they are happening in real time. Thank you, Lord God, for allowing me to be a witness to your glory, Lord God, and to the miracles that you perform, Jesus. God, I am living proof of the miracles that you can do. The glory is yours, Lord, always. Thank you so much. In your name, Jesus, I pray, amen. Like what? I'm witnessing a miracle right now. I need to change my mindset. I need a whole new wardrobe in general. I feel like all my clothes are from 2006. I did my pants, I did my shirts. We're gonna get into the, the going out outfits. <sighs> Somebody prep me for the war, let's go. There's so many things in here. I literally wore one time. <laughs> I don't usually like to show off my back anyways, honestly. I got a big back. I told you that I got a gorilla back. I'm built. <laughs> Goodbye. I also have been basically creating an I don't know pile. So I'm keeping all the I don't knows in with my stuff that I do know I will keep. My best friend kind of gave me some good advice where it's like, you won't know until you actually try them on. And am I, am I gonna try on all this? Right now? Absolutely not. <laughs> but when it comes time to try it on, the Lord will convict me in that moment. I'm done. <laughs> 
That took a lot. <laughs> Definitely been long awaited. It doesn't look like a lot of clothes, but I swear it's a lot of clothes. That's crazy. And to be very honest, a lot of the pieces are very small pieces. <laughs> So this was an experience in and of itself. That was a roller coaster for sure. I just wanna remind you, let God be the one that convicts you if this is something that has been on your heart. That every time you wear a certain thing, you're just like, uh, this doesn't feel right. I feel like this is, mm, uh. Don't let it be people. Make sure it's God that's guiding you. And make sure it's God that's letting you know, hey, it's time to level up. It's time to move on to this next step. God always comes on time. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you for spending time with me as you join me on this transition. I'm experiencing it in real time with you guys. So thank you for being here. <laughs> thank you for spending time with me and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.